The recording says it all. High school students weren't even able to make it through a sleep study session without resisting the urge to respond to that late night text. The effect of smartphones on teenagers' sleep is the focus of new research by JFK Medical Center. Comprised 3,000 students. It's the largest in the United States of its type and was very revealing. The one-year study in Edison School District showed that over 60 percent of students are not getting enough sleep because of late-night texting or phone use, and 20 to 25 percent are awakened to respond to texts. We're talking about a chronically sleep-deprived adolescent and, in my opinion, adult population. Dr. Peter Polos is a sleep disorder specialist and led the research. He says more than 70 percent of the participants reported getting less than the recommended eight hours of sleep a night, usually just five to six. Quality and quantity of sleep are important for brain development, for um, uh, organizing thoughts of the day, helping with memory consolidation. We know that normal sleep is critical for development, physiologic development. It's just so tempting and it takes so much self-control to actually know when to shut that off. But that's exactly what teenagers should be doing, according to Dr. Polos. The sleep deprivation is causing problems with brain development and academic performance for adolescents in their prime for growth. Previously, I used to spend ridiculous amounts of time on my phone and it would interfere with my sleep. So I had to take specific steps to be able to say, no, I need my sleep. So I feel like using my phone is so distracting and then if I'm responding to a text, then I'm thinking about that text and I'm waiting for the other person to respond. And then before you know it, I lost like an hour of sleep. So it's really important for me to just keep it on silent. Polo says there's a real effect from that. Your brain needs time to unwind and disconnect before bed, not to mention delayed sleep onset caused by staring at screens with blue light or any light waves. It interrupts the release of melatonin. It really becomes incumbent upon the parent to say, okay, there is a set off time and a set on time for the phones. We don't yet know about the long-term effects of this all-night tech use, but doctors are concerned about future development and performance. They say we need to curb this now in the teenage years because those habits tend to trickle over as an adult. In Edison, I'm Brianna Venozzi, NJTV News.